Tony, did you hear about the OnlyFans model? It was like she was like living in an like a ten thousand dollar a month condo, and then she fucking murked her her man. Really? Yeah, yeah. I swear to God, dude. Was it domestic? It was domestic. It was, in fact. All right. Well, statistically, the dude was black. Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be back after that unplanned vacation I took. Oh, Jesus. Our uh, our week hiatus, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> the unplanned week hiatus. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, definitely a fun weekend. It's been a fun week, honestly. <laughs> but, yeah. bro, you we- look. Bro, you look like you were about to go sit in a corner and go, cut me, Mick, cut me, cut yeah, me. Right. I got that. I got that fucking Forrest Whitaker eye going on. <laughs> Feel like I need to be in a slave movie or a Scientology movie. Oh my god! Like, so, fuck it, dude. Uh, okay, so hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We we gotta we gotta talk about Forrest Whitaker for a minute. Like, okay. anytime somebody says, "Have you ever seen any movie ever?" He's the black guy. They usually mean Sam Jackson, but Forrest Whitaker's catching up, man. <laughs> like Forrest Whitaker's in fucking everything. Have you noticed? He's in a lot. He's in a lot. And, and every and, time, and, every time I turn around, I'm like, Forrest Whitaker's in this. Holy shit! <laughs> like, and I, I'll say this. I'll say this. I'm not mad about it. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not upset about it. And his eyes getting worse. Have you noticed that too? His eye just keeps getting worse. Because if you watch Good Morning Vietnam, he looks normal. He does look normal. Oh my god! I completely fucking forgot he was in. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, I, he looks I, completely I, normal. But if you watch him now, he looks like he is a like half his face exploded. He like, looks like he looks like fucking Gus Fring from Breaking Bad. <laughs> I, I probably haven't watched that movie in like twenty five fucking years. I love that movie. Oh, it's a great movie. Great movie. Fantastic fucking movie. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh, when he does it for the when he does it for the troops going out, man, that's 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 what gets me every time. Oh, I'm sure it does, especially with you uh, being a veteran and all. Yeah, I'm sure it's just, it gets me like it every time. You know, it's like it's like you know you don't think about like one. Th- by, by the way, that is the most accurate portrayal of an Air Force. <laughs> that's the most active. Like the that is the greatest representation of the Air Force I've ever seen. <laughs> it's hilarious. He just shows up in his fucking. <laughs> It is Greek camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, so Tony, you fucking you said something last night. It was we me and Tony did something we we haven't been doing a lot of lately. Yeah, uh, yeah we went live together last night. We did. We uh, did. It, was, it, it was a good time. It, it was fun. I missed it. Yeah, Tony it was, was drunk as shit. I was. I was fucking hammered. <laughs> I didn't realize it until I got on camera with you, and I was like, oh, he's fucked up. Yeah, tore up from the floor up, sir. <laughs> I was I was toasted pretty fucking decently. Yeah. But, uh, you're but looking... I still woke up. I still woke up uh, like like at, at 1.30 so we could go fucking do bingo in midday. We won. We won. I won the money. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now you fucking won. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I won the money. The money is mine. I have the money for the first time. I have the money. All right, this is not Vegas vacation, <laughs> dude. That was a great fucking movie. That dude, that movie gets so shit on in the vacation series. It gets ridiculously shit on. And European <laughs> vacation exists. All right, fucking. Hey, 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 hey. You leave fucking European vacation alone. All right. Vegas, I, Vegas was definitely the superior sequel. Like, I mean, we, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with like Christmas Vacation. We're gonna leave that alone because fucking that is a classic. That 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 movie. That's a Christmas movie. Home. That's not part of the Vacation series. That's just a Christmas movie. Because they didn't <laughs> well, go anywhere. They didn't go anywhere, and that movie stands on its own. Yeah, like, that's just a standalone fucking movie. And yeah. uh, Again, like that's that's the common thread for the vacation films is that's the whole point of the name. They go somewhere. <laughs> they didn't go anywhere in Christmas vacation. They stayed home. It was Eddie's vacation. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, 
But if you're going to include it, this is this is the proper ranking, I believe, I believe, for the vacation movies. It goes Christmas Vacation. Hands down. One. Hands down. And then and then you got to go Vacation. Hands down. I agree with this so far. And then and I, this, Vegas this, Vacation. And then this is where I lose Tony. This yeah. is where I lose Tony. Then you go European Vacation. No. Nah. Then Vegas Vacation. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I am not shitting on Vegas Vacation. Vegas Vacation was hilarious. I thought it was great. I love that fucking movie. Fucking Wayne Newton. (laughs) (laughs) It's a lock of my hair. (laughs) Jesus Christ. The only vacation movie I'm shitting on is that fucking recent one they did. Oh, the remake? Yeah. And I'm like, this is, no, you can fuck right off. Where it's rusty? Yeah, where it's rusty, I'm like, no, fuck yourself. You know they've never had a like they've never had a set like number of like there, there's never been the same actors in those roles. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> One time it was Leonard from Big Bang yeah, Theory. <laughs> that was uh that was uh fucking that was Christmas Vacation. I think yeah, it was it was Christmas Vacation. <laughs> it was him and Juliet Lewis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the chick from Natural Born Killers and Cape Fear. Uh, that's I still think they should have got De Niro in one of those fucking movies. That would have been fucking hilarious. That that would have, that that have been so funny. And I oh love, my- dude. I love the fact. I love the fact that De Niro is such a fucking asshole. Like every time he opens his mouth, I'm like, shut up. I really like your movies. Stop stop saying shit. <laughs> oh, dude. I I fucking I was like, oh, speak to me when he was like, I'd like to punch Donald Trump. Punch him in his stupid face. I was like, let's get these two together. Fucking dude, Joe Biden was talking about taking him out back and beating him. I'm like, Jesus, d- Joe, a stiff wind would take you over. Like, fuck, <laughs> you can't, you can't walk steps, motherfucker. Like, you can't, you can't even stand stationary on a bicycle, you bitch. Like, what the fuck? You gonna take somebody out back and beat him? You can't even fucking, you can't even stand up for long periods of time. Honestly, honestly, I think a Donald Trump Joe Biden fight would probably be like the most boring fight on the face of the earth. Just two guys, two old men. Oh no, I think I think like hands down Donald Trump would beat that ass. Like I feel like Donald Trump is like that he's that he's that one old guy cuz you never you never fuck with old people by the way cuz they got one good one left in them. Like fucking I feel like Donald Trump would beat that ass. I I I, I don't think he would. I think, I think he would. I think I think he's got a better shot than Biden, but I think he'd wind up too hard like you're not supposed to. I think he'd just do a wild one of these and then he'd be like, "Oh, oh, my back." Fuck. No, he'd slap him with them little baby hands. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> them little baby hands. Every time, every time fucking Donald Trump claps us a golf clap. Like, like, <laughs> oh. like I, dude, I got to do it with somebody online. I got to do it with somebody online recently because fucking I posted something about Donald Trump and it says, uh, it says fucking, you know, basically the the entirety of Joe Biden's uh, campaign is I'm not Donald Trump. They don't point to anything good Biden's done because they can't. <laughs> like, there's, he's done nothing, just like he did for the past 47 years in office. But fucking 147 years in office. And um, fucking like somebody said, somebody said this Donald Trump's campaign is I'm not Joe Biden. I'm like, yeah, but he's sneaking in like good shit that he did while he was president. Like I did this and I did this and I did that. Like he's pointing to his record. Biden doesn't point to his record. He just goes, these MAGA Republicans, you know what I mean? Fucking <laughs> loses track of the fucking Senate halfway through it. <laughs> oh my God. So anyway. speaking of losing tracks, what about Baltimore? I forgot about Baltimore. <laughs> Apparently, bridges are just something that gets in the way of ships. <laughs> yep. Like, fucking, dude, I, I actually talked about this on One Nation Under Fire. Like, dude, there's so many fucking redundancies on container ships to stop that exact thing from happening. Just keep going. They'll, they'll lift it. They'll see us. And I love start fact checking shit. Like, Facebook. Okay, so uh, Facebook. I'm going to be real with you. All right. Cause this is going on. This is going on fucking Instagram too. So fucking, I'm going to be real with you. All right. You're a publisher, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're not a goddamn newspaper. You don't have to fact check shit. 
<laughs> uh, from what I've seen, they don't. They are just a glorified fucking MySpace. That's all they are. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. MySpace, MySpace was cooler though. Like I missed MySpace, man. We shit I, on MySpace. We we didn't deserve Tom. We didn't deserve Tom. We didn't all deserve. Right. None of us. None of us deserve to be Tom's friend. Mm mm. Like we left him so fast. So fast. I didn't. I didn't. I made. I made the switch to Facebook. Uh, like later. I. I mean, I. I did too. I was like, no, MySpace till I die. But then, like everybody went to Facebook. I was like, I'm all alone over here. It's just me and Tom. Yeah, it's just me and Tom. What kind of shit is this? <laughs> Have MySpace. Oh, that that reference dates that movie. <laughs> 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 Mariah, I My, love you. <laughs> MySpace was so much cooler though, because like you, you know, you could you could decorate your fucking background. Yeah, they had backgrounds for fucking everything. They, it, fucking, it taught you how to HTML. <laughs> like we we were learning coding, like a useful fucking skill. Like you could put your fucking playlist on there. It was the shit. As soon as you went to the fucking, as soon as you went to the page, it played a song. Cause you could code yeah. a song into it. Yeah. And you, you can't do that shit. With, you have to hit play on Facebook. Yeah. It doesn't just automatically start playing. Yeah. Which like is bullshit people, because I want you to hear my shit. Like people were forced to listen to what you wanted them to listen to. And it was they, usually my band. It was usually my band. I usually had my fucking, my music up there. I usually like, <laughs> I fucked with people like I'm, don't get me wrong. I love this, but I know like I'm alone in this. But like I put on a, like a lot of Phantom of the Opera and shit like that on my, on my fucking show tunes. Sure do. Uh, you and Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> like, <laughs> like no straight man has that many show tunes. <laughs> oh my god. My, my sister has made a list of reasons why she suspects I'm gay and that that is high up on the list. High. Yeah. That's definitely that's definitely up there. <laughs> like if I had to take a guess, I I'd guess you've seen one up close. Like, <laughs> like Anyways, Tony, you said something last night. Like I was saying, we went live together last night. And it just fucking my my mind went kaboom when you said it. What did I say? Because I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're looking for a new job, motherfucker. Oh yeah, yeah. I might, uh, I might get fucking fired. What? What the fuck? Yeah. Apparently, I had a disagreement. I had a disagreement with my boss, and that was enough. That was enough. Yeah. You know how many bosses I've told to fuck off, and they were like, "Well, oh, he's good, so let's just." Yeah, told me to fuck off. Literally every one of them. <laughs> like I've told to fuck off at least once. <laughs> like I've, I've legitimately told every boss I've ever had. Listen, you can go fuck yourself. Like. Yeah, go fuck yourself and leave me alone. Like I've I've had boss like I've had bosses tell me to do something and then I look back at them and go, I'm not gonna fucking do that. And they still kept me around. Yeah. Well, I mean the biggest thing, the biggest thing is one, I fucking hate German cars. I can't fucking stand these bitches. He's he's been going on about this a lot. Like, if you guys could like tap into our phone calls. He's been on the German call. Oh call. my God! Uh, God, did, 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 you know what? They don't have any World War wins, and that's why. <laughs> because of the design of their cars. Yeah, the only the only time that they ever designed anything that fucking worked was the goddamn German war machine. That was it. <laughs> it was the only thing they succeeded in. And honestly, I kind of wish they succeeded a little better. <laughs> like. like Fucking, he should have finished the job, Adolf. God damn it. <laughs> like, fucking, what the fuck? fucking Jews are annoying. But you can't say that, motherfucker. Actually, you can. If you're not pro Palestine now, dude, you're fucking, you're, you're fucking up. Everybody's talking shit on the Jews now. Everyone. Besides, and Kanye's know, been trying to tell us about this for years. Besides, we all know my affinity for the Jewish community. Yeah. Oh, no. It's fucking, I, it's like, I don't like the Jews because they don't like me. Motherfucker, you're white. All right. They don't know about you. Oh, they they fucking find out real quick. They they look at you, they're like, that's not a white nose. 
<laughs> That's not the white facial hair. Uh, anyways, we're not going into your hatred of Jews on the podcast, Tony. You're going to fucking stow this one. Nope. Yes. Coming yes. out. No. Coming yeah. out. I'm welcoming the Sheeny curse. Do it. God damn it. Mother. mother God damn it. Motherfucker. Oh, but yeah, fucking uh, like we were we, like, okay. So basically the disagreement was I'd let a car run for like two hours, right? I'm looking for a fucking oil leak and it's right where I fucking said it was. And um, like, we're letting the die run through the system and everything. And fucking, I'm like, all right, cool. I'll tear it down after I get back from lunch, you know, order my food and this, that, and the other. And he comes out and he's like, he's like a fucking, you know, Hey, he started on that yet. I'm like, no, I just shut it off. Fuckers 220 degrees. You could fuck right off. <laughs> I'm not burning the absolute shit out of myself to get to that fucking turbo line. Fair. And he goes, well, I don't pay you to stand around, pay to work. Like, yeah, I will. As soon as that fucker cools down. I'm like car's been running for two hours. It's hot. Definitely hot. <laughs> I wouldn't change the oil after fucking running it for two hours. You can kiss my whole ass. Oh man. If that oil got on you, yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. It's fuck, and it, apparently that was enough. What, I saw I saw my job on Facebook advertised. Oh, did you? Yep. So uh, I don't know what I'm walking into tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, I don't know what I'm walking into Monday, by the way, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, you cheap motherfuckers. <laughs> So I'm gonna need more people to subscribe to my fucking Patreon. <laughs> we both do, motherfucker. We both huh? do. I said we both do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jerry has two. Yeah, I I need at least three. <laughs> motherfucker needs at least three. <laughs> like I need more. I need more. Like I put a lot. I put a lot of videos on Patreon. Like I do a lot of fucking shit for Patreon. I really do. I know you. Patreon. Do. Patreon is the only people that actually knew about my fucking about my incident that we're saving. That we're not. We're not telling you about it yet. Not yet. Not no, yet. You got to watch the whole fucking podcast to hear about that. You 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 got to find out about why he was like, cut me, mate. Cut me. I can't yeah. see nothing. And I think I think the greatest thing is I just said that, so everybody's just going to skip to the end. <laughs> like, it was like, well. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. That's another opportunity for Yeti to sponsor this podcast, by the way. They're never going to fucking sponsor this fucking train wreck. So, Tony. I was watching uh, I was watching Harry Potter the other day, and it got me thinking about if you and me had been students at fucking Hogwarts. Oh, that I, shit would have gone off the rails, bro. We'd have been like we would not have been like Malfoy bad, but like but like we'd been the fuck ups. Like we we'd been the ones that weren't. We'd only pay attention to the shit we want to know. Like like be like expand enor enormous kapot. Oh, 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 it's so big. And then, and then we get a check. We would get a check, and she'd be like, "I'm not. No, that's way too big. I'm not sticking. You're not sticking that in me." And so then we'd be like, "Okay, oh, no, no, I can fix Minimus. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not working. It's oh mother. I don't want to go to Madame Pomfrey. Fuck. <laughs> and oh. then you know we'd end up at Madame Pomfrey's, <laughs> and she'd be like, "Every fucking year, there's every fucking year, there's one of them." <laughs> But no, like I would have, I would have come in clutch on the Battle of Hogwarts. I really would have, because fucking, <laughs> fucking, fucking Voldemort would have been just sitting there with his fucking wand. I've been sitting there with an AR-15, going, "Come get some, you noseless bastard!" Like, <laughs> you snake-looking motherfucker! <laughs> I've got a better wand, made by Smith and Wesson. <laughs> and then they'd be like, how'd you get that in the fucking country? <laughs> the <then> IRA. <laughs> Tony, no, you'd be like, mind your business. <laughs> mind your business. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, like, it'd have been, like, you and me would definitely be janitors. We it would be, be fucking chaos. Like they're not bad boys, but they they don't pay attention to shit. Yeah, right? Fucking get off me, you fucker! And uh, and the most yeah. prestige, most prestige, most prestigious fucking wizarding school on the face of the earth, and they're j 
just learning. They're just trying to learn how to expand their goddamn penises. Like, what the fuck? Fucking again, though, that would have been fucking great. Like Voldemort was the most useless motherfucker in the entire world. He really was like, let's talk about that for a minute. Fucking Voldemort was the most useless magic dependent wizard I've ever seen in my life. Like he tried to use a fucking killing curse on a baby. Throw it out the fucking window. You dumb bastard. That babies are fragile. All right. Their skulls not even fucking formed yet. Like just, start, just poke them in the skull, like poke them in the fucking soft spot. Just like, <laughs> like, I mean, it is like you gotta wonder, like, how, love, love saved it. Like, how, how do you not kill a baby? Like, I'm not advocating for killing babies, but how do you not, how do you not get the job done? And hold on oh. a minute, hold on a minute. Here's the, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Fucking, he, he used the killing curse on the baby. Love saved it, and he just left. Like, didn't even try to finish the job. Like, fucking. No, no, it wasn't even that. Like, like love saved it, and that just fucking fucking unarmed him like he didn't have a body after that like what the like what but he's still alive like how did what how does how? This, what are the rules to this bullshit <laughs> like, like like how did how did a how did a curse not working just fucking throw all your shit in the fucking in the gears dude that is fucking ridiculous how that happened too like fucking like it's just it, it fucking killed him i don't know what happened Fucking, he just it, he just evaporated. He apparated. That's what he did. He'll be back. He'll be back though. Goddamn flu network. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. Oh. oh, by the way, I've been thinking about the gopher again, Tony. I've been thinking about the fucking gopher again. Not the gopher go, man. No, no. But hear me. You you you're gonna be on board with me. You're gonna be on board with me. All right, just stick with me. Just stick with me, motherfucker. All, All right? right. All right. So here's what here's what I'm thinking. All right. If we're gonna take our weather cues from a goddamn gopher, let's at least make it a little bit more interesting. All make right. Make it the gopher from Caddyshack. No, no. Better yet. Better yet. All right. If that little motherfucker sees his shadow and says, "You, you assholes are staying in winter," I say we fucking sacrifice Puck, Puxitani. Like ah, this this one's broken. Let let's try to appease the gods and bring spring early. Jesus Christ! What kind of cabin in the woods movie are you making? <laughs> <laughs> and then we go get a brand new gopher, and he sees the and we leave the other gopher. <laughs> the, the other gopher has to see the other gopher shadow <laughs> over his dead, lifeless corpse. Exactly. <laughs> send send a message to the new gopher, like you. Even if he's seen his shadow, like, see your shadow, motherfucker? Nope. Mm, nope. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> spring for everybody. Yeah, that's what we thought, motherfucker. You're giving away spring like Oprah? <laughs> Check under your seat. P. Diddy might be there. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh. By oh. the way. By the way, before we get into the whole P. Diddy thing. Oh, my God. Let's I, I want to take you back to the late 90s, Tony. Let's take you back to, to the late 90s when he was Puff Daddy. And then one day he just comes out and he goes, I'm, I'm not Diddy Puff now. Daddy no more. I'm P. Diddy. Yeah, and, we, and, we just, we, and Puff Daddy, by the way, much cooler name. Much, much, cool. much better than fucking P. Diddy. Especially, Puff, especially considering what came out about him. Cause now he's just P Diddler. Yeah, but <laughs> but the, the but the part that disgusts me most, it's like we were just like, yeah, okay, oh. sure, whatever. Like, no, no, no. I think the funniest part about that is that that set into motion. That set into motion all of the problems we have today. Puff Daddy came out and said, "I feel like P Diddy inside," and we were like, "Okay." We gave that little ground. We gave that little bit, and now we got to deal with the fucking trans community. Trans community is not as terrible as you say it is. I Honestly, okay, so check, so check this out. Check this out, right? Change my mind, motherfucker. I've been driving, like, like as I drive through town, right? As I drive through Jacksonville, you can always tell, you can always tell when something was a blockbuster or a Pizza Hut. It's very easy to tell, right? You're just sitting there, like, you can say that's a Marine Supply Store, but that was definitely a blockbuster. All right, you can see the outline of the blockbuster sign. It, listen. The red roof insurance? No, motherfucker. That was a Pizza Hut. 
It's a very distinctive building, right? It's very easy to see. That's how I feel about the trans community. Yeah. By the way, by the way, when did Pizza Hut become so goddamn scared of having people come inside and sit down? Like, when the fuck did that happen? Uh, don't come inside. You might get pregnant. <laughs> Stick to the ass, guys. All right, but when did Pizza Hut become so afraid of customers coming inside the building and sitting down and ordering their goddamn Don't pizza? come at a Pizza Hut. It's not, it's not sanitary. Will you fucking quit? <laughs> I love how he dropped whatever was in his head. He's like, fuck! Will you cooperate for five fucking minutes? Dude, I miss I miss sitting down in pizza. I miss the pizza buffet. I miss I miss all of it. Like, we have one CC's pizza left in town. And CC's is fucking amazing. But CC's, I, I will tell you this, is definitely run by stoners. There is no way you can change my mind about this. It is definitely run by stoners. Because only stoners would think mac and cheese pizza. All right, you've actually I'm not even I'm not even being facetious. You've talked about this on the podcast before. Episode four. <laughs> and it was not episode four, but you definitely <laughs> We know for a fact it wasn't episode four. Episode four was the like the fucking start of all the good jokes. <laughs> but let's talk about fucking Diddler. <laughs> yeah, Sir Diddler. Sir Diddler. Or soon to be Sir Diddle. <laughs> Yeah, sir, de- yeah, def- he's definitely getting diddled. Like, oh my God, that was that was out of fucking nowhere, man. He wasn't even on Epstein's flight list. Not that we would fucking know, but like, actually, you can download the list now. Ish. <laughs> it's fucking coded like Al Capone's fucking financial records. <laughs> Tony's like, I know, I've, I've checked. Bill Clinton's name is just out, like out in the open, though. Like I love how Bill Clinton is just like, "Fuck it, that's just me." I was there. I, I I had me a 12 year old girl, and Hillary was sitting there. She's like, "Billy, you can't do that." And I'm like, "Well, hell, I already did it to Monica. Oops, I didn't mean to say that." She's like, "What? You had an overage pussy?" And that's what that's what started it. That's what started it, guys. She didn't mind the fucking kids. He wasn't going to marry the kids. He wasn't going to leave. Like, he wasn't going to destroy his political career with kids. But Monica Lewinsky was fucking, that's, the buck stops here. <laughs> By the way, I think I think that whole scandal would have been much better if it went the Robin Williams way. Like, Bill, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Throwing his shit out on, on the White House lawn. <laughs> Baby, Baby, I'm sorry. I <laughs> Baby, I love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, fucking dude, that that came out of fucking left field, man. And and what really fucked me up is like I love I love how everybody's like fucking like overuse the force, excessive force. Dude, they raided three fucking properties. I think they used a pretty appropriate amount of force for somebody who's diddling kids. Yeah, I mean, you're diddling kids, fuck off. Yeah, you you definitely like you're accused of sex trafficking, motherfucker. I think they used the proper amount of force. I have seen Sound of Freedom, motherfucker. I haven't, but if you fuck with kids, I lose all goddamn sympathies for you. Yeah. Like, 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 here's, here's my thing. We're not killing enough people in this country. Like when they get arrested, like we we only kill murderers. Why stop there? Let's kill the murderers, the rapists and the child diddler rapists people. Listen, pedophiles. Say it. I don't give a shit about community guidelines. Pedophiles. Pedophiles. Like, let's, like, all three of them just or, pop, pop, pop. Or pedophiles, if you live in the fucking UK with your wrong ass. <laughs> you're not so knowing much. how to make tea, motherfuckers. If you add milk to tea, you can go fuck yourself. Like, I'm just putting that I, out there. I tried it. I tried it. It was, it was not good. It was, <laughs> it, it was. It tastes, it, it tastes like they're fucking food. Somebody was just messaging me like two minutes before I got on the podcast. And they're like, you should have a Brit on the podcast. I'm like, I've been trying. Oh, my God. He, honestly, Jared just wants a Brit on the podcast because he wants to see how far I'll go with this. Like, it's 100%. Like, I am fucking going full on. I'm going to put on my fucking Kentucky wig. Oh, it's going to happen. I like 
if everything goes according to plan, Lord Dermot will be here. Oh fuck, I forgot we got we already have a guest for the podcast in August. God damn it. Yeah, That's all well, right. That's all right. Well, we're promoting fucking we're promoting the Gaiman show, our Gaiman show in Gaiman, Oklahoma. That's Gaiman, Oklahoma, if you wondered. I did it one time, motherfucker. One time. Let it go. Oh my god. Fucking but yeah, like the the thing came out of fucking nowhere with Diddler and fucking apparently apparently fucking his two sons were involved and Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba? Yeah. What? Cuba Gooding Jr.'s going down with him too, and nobody's heard from Jay Z. That motherfucker bonked out. <laughs> that motherfucker just left the chat. He's like, I don't even want to be a part of this. And fucking left. Later, Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm getting the fuck out of here before they get my ass too. Take care of the twins. Anybody checked on Meek Mill? Is he all right? Like, how you ass feel, Mr. Mill? But fucking shit, man. That, I, motherfucker, that motherfucker was just diddling people for no reason. Just fucking, that motherfucker was having a field day with rappers' buttholes. <laughs> man. Fucking good and junior. I can't fuck. Fucking Cuba, man. I was like, God damn it. I like Cuba. Like, I like Jerry Maguire and fucking men of honor. God damn it. Fuck. Right. His his part was the only watchable part in Pearl Harbor. And and the fighting temptations. I don't so much like the I don't so much like the mu- movie, but the music is fucking oh my god, the music's good in that fucking movie. I loved him in uh, I loved him in Norbit too. Like Norbit gets shit on a lot, but that was a funny ass movie. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. It was though. It was. It, it was. It was pretty goddamn funny. But it really wasn't. But it really was. It was. I fucking a hundred percent. Like I I just like fucking snap back to the fucking <laughs> snap back to here is my counter offer. <laughs> and he just wipes his ass with the fucking contract and <laughs> sticks it on the table. They get up and he fucking gets his goddamn his goddamn uh, whaling spear. <laughs> now, nutty professor, nutty professor. Lin, Lin, get my pistol. <laughs> no, but why are you running that little bitch? <laughs> nutty professor, that was a great fucking movie. It's a classic. Oh, North- hands down, hands down. Nutty professor and the clumps. The clumps was funny as shit too. But I didn't watch the clumps. I, I loved it. it. I, lo- I loved I loved anything with Larry Miller in it. I'll watch because Larry Miller's fucking hilarious. He is hilarious. <laughs> but uh, but I, I, of, fucking, of, I will oh. never I will never get over that fucking one goddamn line in the clumps. <laughs> he's like he's like you know Grant's come and go, but Wellman will always be Wellman. What does bother me? As I was walking down the street today, and a little boy pointed up at me and said, look, mommy, there goes the hamster's bitch. (laughs) I love that line. That's the most ridiculous line reading in history. Again, I've never fucking watched the movie. You gotta. You gotta watch it. It's funny as fuck. But I've never steered you wrong. You actually enjoyed Die Hard 4? I did. I did. I did. Yeah, once it was an actual Die Hard movie. I did, guys, fucking, by the way, Oklahoma, Guyman, Oklahoma, in Guyman, Oklahoma, is rapidly fucking Where's apart. that? It, it's in Guyman. It's in Guyman, okay. Oklahoma. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. I wanted, to, I wanted to mark my calendar properly. That's Guyman, right? Yeah, Guyman. G-U-Y-M-O-N? Yeah. Okay. That's fucking weird spelling. Like, like, they were like, let's just put guy and a non-word together. And that'll be the name of our town. Let's have a let's have a Jamaican describing his gender. <laughs> I'm a guy, man. <laughs> oh my god! But it's it's rapidly approaching. And I was on the phone the other day with Tony, and he was as normal, being just the worst fucking friend you could ever fucking imagine. I am I'm a horrible friend. <laughs> it's hilarious. And for some reason, I'm like. Oh my God! It's almost June, and I get to see you again. I can't wait. And it's like, why? <laughs> yeah, what? You, I do nothing but shit on you all the time. 
Like you press what this like, podcast is. It's basically me making fun of you for an hour. Like, like you've tried to be nice like twice, I think. And both times it's fucked you up. Well, no, the, the last time it fucked both of us. It fucked the, the yeah. Us. It fucked both of us. Up. It fucked our whole financial situation for an hour. <laughs> Like fucking it, like the first time I ever met Jer. I'm gonna say it again. The first time ever meeting Jer, I flicked him in his fucking forehead while he was sleeping. Just one of those dad flicks too. Fucking, just, <laughs> fucking, it was hilarious. Cause like I'm walking into this fucking house, the door's unlocked, and the only thing guarding the house is a sleeping fat ass, and. I just flick him in the fucking forehead. He doesn't even wake up. I'm just like, I can steal everything in this fucking house. <laughs> I just make right off with it. Because <laughs> Rip's in the fucking shower, you know, fucking filming for his OnlyFans. And Ronan and Pius are outside. <laughs> like, he, he flicks me in the forehead and goes, I'm going to make this guy my best fucking friend. <laughs> I flicked him in his fucking forehead and all I got was. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Tony's like, I can hang out with this guy. <laughs> Motherfucker's already trash. Look at him. <laughs> and then I love I love the fact that I'm like deathly allergic to shellfish and Rip's like response to that is, let's go to Joe's. <laughs> we we got to go back. Next time we're all in fucking, we're in Jacksonville. We have to go fucking back. We, we the, have to. We got to go to the same fucking Joe's at the same time so we get the same waitress. It's just going to be like, fuck me running. Like, these guys are loud as fuck, especially that one. <laughs> these assholes again. Jared can have a fucking Jared can almost have a fucking heart attack at the table. And Tony Tony could be sitting there going, "Hey, one hundred percent, dude. I fucking hey, I ran out of beer. I should never run out of beer. Ever. Oh my god, rip." Rip, like, let's get the spicy cr- crab legs. Just like, please, no. Please. I've been sitting here all this fucking time. I've been sitting here all this fucking time. My coffee's only built like three times. All right? If I order coffee, I want it filled six times. All right. Uh, fucking. Oh, what the fuck's his name? Mr. Pink? <laughs> well, Miss, I'm talking about his real fucking name. Steve Buscemi? St- thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pretty easy, easy name to remember. He's one of the bigger names in the movie. Like, no, no. him and fucking Harvey Keitel and Chris Penn. Yeah. Those are the ones that everybody fucking knows. You know, then yeah. then you have like the geeks like me that actually know fucking Tim Roth and fucking Michael Madsen. Well, the the mob boss, that guy, he's he's pretty. What's what the fuck's his name? I can't remember. I can't either. But like I can't remember off the top of my head. He's he's a great actor, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was pretty well known, but we can't fucking remember his name. Yeah, <laughs> he's like he's probably the most well-known actor in the movie. We can't probably. remember his name. Oh fuck me! But we know Harvey Keitel. You can't, you can't mistake fucking Harvey. Oh no, Harvey's everywhere. Like anytime he's in a movie, I'm just like, yay, it's that time. <laughs> like, oh, oh, you gonna send the wolf? <laughs> you gonna send the wolf? You feel better now, motherfucker? <laughs> I uh, dude, I swear, I swear to God, I've got that Ving Rhames. I've got that Ving Rhames voice a hundred percent. Oh man, I miss him. Because oh, it's he... really, it's really easy to do Ving Rhames when you have a voice as deep as mine. <laughs> like it's really fucking easy to do Ving Rhames. Dude, when when back in high school, to avoid a typing class, I joined choir. <laughs> and my voice is so He's deep. Number six. <laughs> my voice is so deep. Like I couldn't even sing baritone. They're like, you're, you're a bass. And that's, yeah. and that's all you. I was like, solos. They're like, there will never be a solo. <laughs> Ever. There's never a bass unless you're Metallica or Primus. There's never a bass solo. <laughs> or, or agree to hate. Because I do some fucking bass solos. They, they were like, they're like, you're just gonna make your deep, your voice as deep as possible, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get medieval on your ass. You I'm gonna go to work on the homes here with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. You, <laughs> you hear me talking, hillbilly boy? 
Your LA privileges are suspended. <laughs> You've lost all your LA privileges. <laughs> Dude, I loved him and People Under the Stairs. That was a great fucking movie. Oh, fuck. I forgot he was in that shit. Yeah, I made fucking Jer watch The People Under the Stairs. <laughs> that was a great fucking movie. One they, of Wes Craven's fucking finest. I can't believe they want to redo that fucking movie. Yeah, they want to redo it. Like, fucking, you're just going to ruin it. Like, you do everything Hollywood. Like, they're just going to try and make it, like, fucking super serious. That movie that, was campy as shit. It <laughs> like, was campy as shit. And but it like, had the dude. It had the, like, I, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. The first time I recognized uh, the dude, the, the fucking daddy. Like, he didn't really have a name. It was just daddy. Yeah. Fucking, uh, fucking when I, rec- like, when I recognized him in another movie, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> like, he was in Heartbreak Ridge. I'm gonna have to watch Heartbreak Ridge. He again. was he was the dickhead that was always trying to fucking uh, go against Clint Eastwood. By the way, by the way, who favorite Clint Eastwood fucking western? Go. I think I know what you're gonna say. Uh probably Fistful of Dollars. Oh, that's wow. I was wrong. I was wrong. I I I figured you were gonna say Unforgiven. Unforgiven was good. It was it, really fucking good, but. But Fistful, like the Dollars trilogy, I loved. I loved. I loved fucking the Dollars trilogy. Fistful of Dollars, fucking. Uh, I've got to go. Good, bad, and, and the ugly. I've got to go. Oh, uh, it's part of the Dollars trilogy. Yeah. I mean. Oh, is it? I, yeah. I didn't know it was part of a trilogy. Yeah. Good, the oh. bad, the ugly. It was fucking. It's part of the Dollars trilogy. Oh, it's fun. It's good, the bad, the ugly was great, and I'll never forget the fucking uh, the Back to the Future reference. <laughs> 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 fucking Back to the Future three, where he puts the fucking thing over his fucking chest. For Mad Dog Tannen. Nobody calls me Mad Dog. <laughs> oh, my God. But like that, oh, my God. I'm, like, I'm pissed off that Mad Dog Tannen never called anybody a butthead. <laughs> like, come on, man. That's his thing. Dude, by the way, the guy that plays Biff, I forget his fucking name. Uh, fuck. But if you ever meet him in real life, don't, like, don't get me wrong. F, F. Stu- Thomas, F. Thomas something. Uh, yeah. Something like that. If you ever meet him in real life, super nice guy. So su- like super awesome. He's even though he sings that song, quit asking me the questions. He's actually quite willing to answer your fucking questions. Fucking dude, just call him a butthead. <laughs> we call him butthead, butthead. But uh oh my god. If you get too deep in the conversation, he's gonna tell you all about how they fucked him over in, in, in that trilogy. Oh he's, yeah. He is good. He goes off. They fucked everybody but Michael Fox. Yeah. I mean, Crispin Glover got fucked. What? Yeah, that's why he didn't return for the next two movies. Oh. And he sued. He sued them because they used his likeness. Oh shit. Yeah, they used they used his likeness for uh for two. Hmm. But he but he said. Like, he told me, he's like, yeah, I was just a real naive kid. I was real excited to get the part and shit. And then he goes, that was kind of the rise and fall of my career right there. Yeah. Uh, but he's he's a really funny stand-up, if you guys don't know. Like, he's 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 really, he's funny. I love the fact, I love the fact that Flea was in it. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> How's uh, it hanging, McFly? <laughs> fucking, I love Flea, man. Flea's fucking great. <laughs> oh my god like and, I, shit, and, I shit talk the chili peppers a lot but I love Flea Flea's a fucking fantastic bassist remember when he was in uh, fucking Son-in-Law yeah and like not a lot of people fucking caught it yeah not not a lot of people fucking caught it like dude it's like the it's like the Brendan Fraser cameo in every Pauly Shore movie like nobody catches it <laughs> and it's so obvious that they pan up to him you know? I know. Remember, he just takes the fucking frog off and. Yeah. <laughs> fucking dude, and he's Link. He's Link in every fucking movie. In every movie. That's if and if you caught his fucking son-in-law cameo, that's why he bites the fucking frog because he doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, in uh, in the army now, in the army now, he's actually fucking wearing a name patch that says Link. That's fucking awesome. I love fucking that. Amazing. 
that movie in fucking forever. I love that goddamn movie. What, In the Army now? Yeah. I love that movie. That movie is so fucking wildly hilarious. Like, Polly Shore movies that go son in law fucking in the Army now. I don't know. I'd put Biodome above in the Army now. Oh. Biodome was fucking funny as shit. <laughs> it's hard for me to get through Biodome these days. I don't know why. Like, the older I get, I'm just like, eh. it's, it's funny, though. It's, oh my God. So they're, so they're on the rice. <laughs> Crapping on the rice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're talking about the Baldwins again. <laughs> Goddamn Baldwins. By the way, nobody liked that short. <laughs> I enjoyed the shit out of it, but then like I I went back and looked at it and I go, oh no wonder nobody liked this. We're just naming Baldwin's. Yeah, so all we're doing, we're making a list, checking it twice. <laughs> fucking sure oh my god, these fucking Baldwin's. God By the way, damn. that's one of the best parts of South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. This morning, at such and such a.m., Canada bombed. The bald ones. The bald? All of them? <laughs> all of them. No. The bald ones are all gone? No, <laughs> this is Billy Baldwin. If you want Daniel Baldwin, call his extension, stupid. It's so good to be a Baldwin. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Fucking Windows 98. Oh, Tony, I'm getting excited. It's, I mean, I know it's it's probably miserable for you because you live in Florida, but it's almost my favorite fucking season. We are so close to summer. Oh no, I fucking dude, Florida Florida summers are brutal. They beat the shit out of you. <laughs> and I work outside. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Summer is by far my favorite fucking season. It is fucking grueling, man. If you've never been to Florida in the summer, you owe it to yourself. <laughs> to go in the fall. Yeah, to go in the fall. I fucking. I love the I love the snowbirds that uh, left Florida when the heat was coming. Like when the heat was coming, they fucking left and went back to New York, and they got hammered by a fucking earthquake. Oh man, I've that's kinda... what you deserve, you fucking New Yorkers. I've I've kind of been tempted to text my ex, make sure she's all right, because. 4.5, that's big for New York. Especially since none of the buildings are fucking small. Yeah. All the buildings are fucking huge as shit. Huge. They're huge buildings. Uh, but I just, I can't bring myself to text her because, you know, she, like. Well, you might want to, she might be dead because they got the fucking illegals running around now. Yeah, well, I just, like, she fucking. Took a big old bite out of my heart. Let's talk about the illegals. Let's not. Let's oh, not. Let's talk. Let's talk about the Mexicans. No Mexicans. I'm, Fuck it. Let's talk about the Mexicans. All right. Okay, we no, got a good show. We got a new show for y'all. Summer fuckface. We got a new show. Got a damn good show. Mexicans. I am, I am still on fucking. I'm still on fucking summer being the best goddamn season. All right. No. You're and wrong. You know You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. It's the it's the season you can go outside and do shit. All right? You can do all the, like that's when you go camping. It's when you go to the beach. I know you don't go to the beach, but I'm just saying. I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't go to the beach. Sharks fucking live there. That's the thing. That's the like fucking like imagine. Imagine if somebody came into your fucking house, right? Fucking like yeah, if somebody walked through my front door, I might bite them too. Like, but when you walk, like when you go into the ocean, you're getting into the fucking shark's house. Like it's, oh man bit by a shark. Yeah. Yeah. You walked into the fucking ocean. That's your fault. Right. They're fucking I, rogue sharks. No, they're just sharks. I'm, so I'm, when you, I'm, if I'm, somebody I'm, walked through my fucking door, right. Fucking in a, in a pair of swim trunks and floaties fucking dancing fucking. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting fucked up. I mean, I'm. I've punched too many sharks to be fucking scared of them. Like I've I've told sharks to fuck off way too many times to fucking give a shit about sharks. I just don't I, I don't I don't fuck with sharks. I don't like sharks. 
I've seen Jaws, motherfucker. I've seen Jaws. I've seen Deep Blue Sea. As shitty a movie as that was. That was. And we shit. are this close. We are. The, we came real close to fucking Sharknado. What? Yeah. So so there's a there's a fucking there's a gator pit in Florida, right? Uh-huh. There's like it's it's a gator pond basically. And when the hurricanes come through, they fucking relocate these fucking alligators into people's fucking yards. Like they pick what? up the alligator and just launch them into people's fucking yards. Oh, okay. So we have we have actually we have gator cane. <laughs> Fuck Sharknado. We got gator cane, and that's way more terrifying because gators can walk. And they're a lot more aggressive. <laughs> because then Medulla oblongata. There's something, there's something wrong with his medulla oblongata. Mama says alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth, but no toothbrush. <laughs> well, mama's wrong. <laughs> well, folks, mama's wrong again. And no, Connor Sanders, you're wrong. Mama's right. <laughs> I did. I, okay, so so hands down, my favorite, my favorite fucking scene in The Water Boy was was when fucking he launches that ball out of his office and hits Colonel Sanders in the head, and he just lets out that. Mah! <laughs> it fucking falls over. Gets me every time. Now, my my favorite part is when he's fucking yelling at his mom. And he, uh, he goes, I like Vicky Valancourt, and she let me touch her boobies, and I like them too. No, no, you got to do, if you're going to do the fucking quote, you got to do the scene right. <laughs> I like school, and I like football, and I'm going to keep doing a boat because they make me feel good. And I like Vicky, and she likes me back. And she showed me her boobies, and I like them too. <laughs> runs out of the house. Either that or the Captain Insano scene. That's fucking, that's gold. That that was fucking gold. When they have the big show there. How old are you, kid? Eight, nine? I noticed that when you are wrestling or open, open up him whoop ass, as you so pleasantly stated, that you start sweating quite profusely. I was wondering if you would need the uh, services of an experienced water boy. <laughs> That's kind of cute, kid. What are you, 11, 12? I'm 31 years old. <laughs> and they just fucking laugh. You tell that guy I never got laid. <laughs> oh, who's wrestling? Wrestling's good. Who's your favorite wrestler? <laughs> Even though he was slightly discoitous to me recently, I'd, I'd have to say Captain the Thano. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do whatever Captain Insano does to the bad guy. <laughs> he fucking pokes him in the eye. He poked me in the eye. <laughs> Captain Insano says no mercy. Oh my god. Oh, fucking... oh, oh, you know what else happens this summer though, Tony? And like I've been fucking waiting for it for like over a year. The new dead. Yeah. Yeah, the new Deadpool is gonna be pretty fucking good. Yeah, like I got an AMC card in my fucking Easter basket because for some reason I still get goddamn Easter baskets. I'm gonna have to fucking call child services on my mom because she hadn't given me an Easter basket in like ten years. Dude, my mom was still giving us Santa gifts before she left. My dad still does. He still does. He still marks everything Santa. <laughs> no, no, we like the big gift. The big gift's always from Santa. And then all the other presents and shit. Like, the big gift in the stockings, that's Santa. And then all the other gifts are from other people. Yeah, I fucking... Oh, my God. I actually actually uh, whipped out a Waterboy quote the other night. Because uh, somebody sung Roy Orbison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sang uh, Blue Bayou. And I, I love I love Roy Orbison. He's a fucking great, great musician. And uh, I just walked up to the old lady. I was like, you know... When I was your age, my mother told me not to get a tattoo of Roy Overson. <laughs> but what mama don't know no. won't hurt her. <laughs> Pulls down his pants to not Henry Winkler's ass. <laughs> so looked, obviously not Henry Winkler's ass. And it looks strangely very similar to the fucking Fonz, that tattoo, by the way. Yeah, it did, didn't it? <laughs> It's like, is that Roy Orbison or a younger you, motherfucker? Right? The fucking shit, man. It's like reliving his fucking happy days years. 
<laughs> I love I love how fucking like how cool Henry Winkler is. <laughs> like just do shit. He just does shit with Adam Sandler because he fucking can. Like he he's just in fucking everything. Like dude, the scream like his his cameo in Scream was awesome. I don't remember his cameo in Scream. He was he was the principal. Oh yeah 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 yeah. The yeah, most yeah. unhinged principal ever. <laughs> Damn little shits. Would you call me? And it pans up to Wes Craven, <laughs> dressed as Freddy Krueger. It's so good. That movie was so fucking good, man. Yeah, oh, the first scream is untouchable. Oh, it's untouchable. completely untouchable. Like the big name in the fucking movie was Drew Barrymore, and they killed her. They killed her in the first five minutes of the movie. <laughs> like the opening scene. Wes was like, "Watch this shit." Yeah. Like, everybody expects a a big-titted blonde to make it to the end of the movie. Let's cast one. (laughs) And they cast Drew Barrymore, and she fucking dies. And right then, you're like, oh, this movie's going to be different. Like, (laughs) oh, my. Tony, They've never been able to recreate the magic of the first Scream. It was just fucking great. Like, Wes Craven is great at, like, first movies. He is. He is. And then they just kill him. The, The... the second one wasn't bad either, but like, like it didn't. It still doesn't hold a candle to number one, though. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't hold a candle to the first scream. The the no. second one was, the second one was good, but I feel like they gave too many red herrings in that movie. <laughs> like you know, everybody was a suspect. Yeah. Yeah. Literally everybody except fucking Nev Campbell. You, you could actually see doing it. And by the third one, she has herself locked in the house. And I was like, finally. Yeah. But she comes out of hiding. Yeah. Dumbass. <laughs> like, nobody can find you. But they called her at the house somehow. So, yeah, somehow. Somehow. After a legal name change and all this bullshit. Yeah. Like, that's, they tracked like, her down. Like, fuck off. No, you didn't. I just love that. I love I love that one scene in Scream 3. That one scene in Scream 3 where it fucking, they called me a pariah. I don't even know what a pariah is. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, I love that line reading from him. It was fucking hilarious. Oh my God. You don't see him in anything. Like I've only, I've only seen him in like Scream 3 and Law and Order SVU. That's it. That's the only things I've ever seen him in. Are you talking about... The guy who played Roman Pritchard. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. It's the only time in Scream history where there's been one killer, by the way. I was, for some reason, I was thinking of Cotton Weary. I was like, I see that motherfucker everywhere. What are you talking no, that's, about? No, that's Lee F. Schreiber. Fucking, yeah. He's fucking everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I loved, I loved him in Goon. Like, he was, he was fucking great as Ross the Boss. Still never seen Goon. You so gotta right. watch it. You gotta watch it. I got. I I do need to watch it. I do Ross watch it. the Boss Ray. I've got his fucking hockey jersey. <laughs> I, I have a I have a hockey jersey from a fictional character. Fictional character. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, by the way, my favorite fucking baseball player ever is a fictional fucking character. Yeah. yeah. Wild thing. Ricky Vaughn. No. No. What? What? No, the Sandlot man. Ricky Vaughn. No, fuck you, fuck you. Either that, either that, or the All Stay guy. Fucking <laughs> hats for bets. <laughs> oh shit! All right, so we're coming to a close. We've got to end. We've got to end on it. So it's Tony. time. Tony, uh, yes. canceled, I got a text message last week, mm-hmm. and it read, uh, hey, we're going to have to skip the podcast this week because somebody smashed a pint glass into my face. Would you care to elaborate, sir? Oh, without a doubt, good sir. 
<laughs> this is definitely going to be a fucking story time too. I got to film that still, but, um, all right. So, uh, Friday night, last Friday, I decide that I'm going to the bar because my buddy's, my buddy's band's having a show. Uh, mm-hmm. my buddy's from Monday afternoon and we go to the fucking bar and we're, you know, we're just fucking, you know, just having fun. Hey, Tony, quick question. Like, did you did you venture to another bar, an unfamiliar bar, one that you are not fucking privy to generally? Oh no, oh no, I only go to the one damn bar. Oh, so you went to your bar? Yes, I went to Where Park Avenue. Made, I went to Park Avenue Billiards, the Shark Club. Where you're basically royalty. Yes, yes, and this this has been established. I was told that I'm Park Avenue royalty. Now, uh, I go to the bar. And I'm I'm making funny with you know like all the guys from Monday afternoon and everything. We're actually planning um uh, uh like a like a coca lab right, and we're gonna do uh, all in the family by corn, but it's gonna be uh, a cover of you know basically agree to hate and Monday afternoon, uh, doing the fucking back and forth that Fred Durst and John Davis did, and Monday afternoon has two singers. They have a singer and a screamer. And it's it's pretty much going to be me and the Screamer doing the fucking duet. And we actually made a fucking funny ass joke that night. Um, fucking CJ, the, the the singer from Monday Afternoon, is black, and uh, he's going to be like, I want to get it on the guys, and we're just going to settle your ass down. This is white people shit. <laughs> get out of here, darky. And like, it's just going to be funny as shit. And uh, and he loves that idea. <laughs> CJ loves that idea. And. You know, we're going, you know, like, basically, I'm just watching shitty band after shitty band after shitty band. Like, one guy got really, like, dangerously close. Like, he stood on the bar and got dangerously close to the spinning fan. And I was just sitting there going, I kind of hope he gets hit. Like, <laughs> it's going to be funny as shit. <laughs> like, but um, Josh, the manager, walks up to me and says, hey, man, uh, I can't be everywhere at once. Uh, take care of the bar for me. Like, if we don't have any security tonight. Just take care of the bar for me. I was like, all right, cool. Am I getting paid for this? He goes, yeah. I was like, cool. I got it. So I take I take my job seriously. You know, like I fucking, like when somebody starts getting fucking rowdy, I, I calm them down. I'm like, hey, you need to knock that shit off. And I reprimanded like three or four people that night that were just fucking doing dumb shit. Yeah. And the, like they got dangerously close to the daughter and I don't like that shit at all. Like one guy fucking he he got really really fucking close and i grabbed him by his windbreaker and said settle down and he turned around and went motherfucker yes sir <laughs> like that motherfucker calmed down quick that motherfucker got polite <laughs> no, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go sit down <laughs> so fucking like we're going and monday afternoon's going on and you know, I decide that I'm going to stand at the back of the pit and I'm just going to, you know, push people around. I'm just going to have some fun. You know, we're just going to push mosh and whatever. And as I'm, as I'm, you know, as I'm pushing people, you know, we're just having a good time and everything. I feel a fucking, I feel a pressure, like, right. I feel it right here. Uh, and then I hear a crack and I'm like, oh fuck, somebody fucking nailed me. And then I looked down and I saw a pint glass broke at my fucking feet. And I'm like, you- somebody. Somebody hit me in the fucking face with a goddamn glass. And right then, too, I had that thought. It's like, this is why they don't give out glassware at concerts. So did you did you immediately go to the emergency room, Tony? No. In fact, I had the response that pretty much every one of you thinks that I should have had or imagines I would have. I could not see very well because I had just been hit in the fucking face with a goddamn pint glass. And we're talking a substantial pint glass, like not some cheap Chinese made shit glass. I'm talking about a Libby's pint glass. All right. Fucking anybody that knows barware knows Libby's is the fucking sturdiest shit in the entire world. Right. It's not like those fucking beer steins from Sahara where you put the shot glass down to the stein and it just fucking explodes. For no fucking reason at all. We found that out, interestingly enough, because Evie did it. So what was your immediate response, Tony? My immediate response was to grab the closest blur that I could see and find out whether or not they were to blame for this. I grabbed a fucking dude who's who comes up to about my like he's about like nose level with me. Like if, like his eyes are looking at my fucking mustache. Right. Okay. And now I am six three. 
I lifted this motherfucker with one hand off of his feet. And with the other hand proceeded to point down at the pint glass. Now, from what I hear, the reactions in the room were varied. But pretty much everybody agreed on one thing. That guy's going to fucking die. <laughs> like everyone. Like, well, he's dead. Fucking the guy. I guess the funeral is going to be this weekend. Fucking maybe there's a wake here. I don't fucking know. So I grabbed this motherfucker and I'm looking at him and my fucking eyes swollen shut. I'm like, you fucking do this. And I immediately, I immediately smelled shit. I'm pretty sure that kid shit his pants. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I didn't do it. Please don't kill me, Mr. Black man. But fucking. Oh my God. You know, so I... hold on a minute. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. Because as soon as I found out who I was holding, I was like, oh, no, you ain't got the balls to do this. Fucking tossed him aside. And apparently I have two new nicknames. What are the nicknames? Share them with us. <laughs> One was given to me last night. One was given to me the, uh, the night of. Basically, everybody just started calling me the fucking Terminator. Because I'm pretty – that guy fucking ran. He had to have fucking run. Because – Literally, it was a guy that nobody knew. He was fucking around in the crowd, you know, like crowd killing and shit. And he was nowhere to be found after the incident had happened. And I think the reason why is because he saw that he just smashed a substantial piece of glassware into my fucking face hard enough to break it. And all it did was piss me off. Oh, my God. You know, you, you know what? Did I am both sad and happy I was not there. Because if I'd been there, sad because for sure we'd probably went to jail. Like like it's almost certain. Yeah, Although the yeah. cam the camera doesn't see that far, so we do have that going for us. That, and that's true. I was getting to that. And the witnesses would have been totally on our side. Yeah. So so basically, uh the other nickname that was given to me uh was by the basis for Monday afternoon, who saw me afterwards like he saw the after effect he didn't see the glass happen he didn't see anything of that he just saw me fucking throwing people around the bar i threw somebody into a wall i threw somebody into the stage somebody back into the fucking crowd i threw somebody into the bathroom like all right hulk yeah but, okay so uh that was actually given to me by the daughter and the wife but they, 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 hulk smash like fucking but Keenan said, uh, Keenan said flat out, he said, you ever seen the fucking old Looney Tunes cartoons where like the Tasmanian devil just gets going and, it's like, blah, 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 and he fucking, he said, that was you. You just fucking went into a goddamn frenzy. <laughs> Tony, the Tasmanian devil. I was like, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite Looney Tunes fucking hands down. Oh yeah. Oh fucking, yeah. Fucking Taz and Marvin the Martian are my two favorite Looney Tunes. <laughs> Where is the earth shattering kaboom? But fucking. We, we, I walk up to the bar and Harley's at the fucking bar and I'm just sitting there looking at him, holding my fucking eye. And I just look at him and go ice. <laughs> and he brings me a glass of ice. I guess, you know, he thought maybe I was, maybe I was pouring a tea or something like that, but I went to the fucking bathroom and got some fucking paper towels and wrapped the ice up and fucking Harley goes, Oh, that <laughs> he gets me a Ziploc bag filled with fucking ice. And I got on the fucking balcony to get my shit together. And as soon as I walk out on the fucking balcony, fucking Jeremiah's there, my buddy, Jeremiah. Now I do nothing but fuck with him. I do nothing but fuck with him. Like, I fuck with Jeremiah worse than Jer. What? Because Jeremiah shows up at the bar, and he loves it. I mean, you know, he's, he's cool with it, because that motherfucker showed up looking like Princess Jasmine and Aladdin at the same time. And like, he, wear, he, wear, he wears women's clothes. Oh, okay. okay. You know, he just, he just does. He's not, a, he's not a fag or anything. He's not a cross-dresser, but he's, he's just <laughs> fucking, like, he just wears women's clothes, you know? And fucking, he looked at me, and... He's like, what the fuck happened? I was like, somebody smashed a pint glass in my face. He goes, fucking who? And fucking roid raged into the fucking bar. I'm going to find that motherfucker. I was just like, Jesus Christ, Jeremiah. And fucking everybody was looking for him. Everybody was looking for that motherfucker. Harley was looking for him. Fucking Parker. Fucking 
Oh, now? Oh, they, they done pissed. They even let Tony check the video footage. Yeah, they let me check the fucking footage. Fucking, it was ridiculous. But and the camera, does, the camera doesn't reach that far, though. And I, I love the fact, I woke up like 28 text messages the next day from people that figured, like, found out what happened. And I'm going to let you know right now, they done pissed off uh, at least six Marines. So <laughs> their days are numbered. They done pissed off six Marines and a few guys that wear matching colors. So <laughs> somebody's getting got. <laughs> like, I just, I know if I'd been there, I'd been, I would have seen everything because I'd have been right there with you. Yeah. And, yeah. and it would have just been a chain reaction. Like, oh, have, Ken, Ken was standing behind me when it happened. He didn't see it, but fucking, he saw, he saw me fucking like grab my eye and he saw me just go into a fucking rage. And somebody looked at Ken and said, Hey man, uh, th that's your boy. You, you might want to go over there and check on him. He goes, I'm not fucking going over there. No. No, he's gonna mistake me for somebody and hit me in the fucking face. I don't want to die. All right, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him come to me. <laughs> like I'm gonna. I'm gonna hang back. Like as soon as he like, calms down, I'll go see him. But until that happens, I like to live. I pr I promise you though, if I'd been there, somebody'd have been like, "Bam!" to Tony, and then I'd been like, "Fuck!" Then give me your pint glass. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to waste this drink, but. I'm so sorry. I'll buy you another. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, and of course, Josh, the manager, he uh, he's got he's got a twisted sense of humor. He gave me a uh, Park Avenue autographed pint glass for uh, for display, and it will be displayed. But and I was like, that's I fucking do, I'm, sick. I'm I love it. <laughs> like, like for sure. Like I'd have broken a pint glass on that dude's face, and then like I'd have picked him up and been like. Here, Tony, I have a gift. <gasps> oh, and Tony been like, oh, for me? And I'd be like, all for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, and what I will call him George. What happened to that guy? He stabbed himself in the back three times and threw himself off the balcony. Very, Very unfortunate. unfortunate. <laughs> oh, my God. But I went back. I went back and, uh, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, dude, you're still in one piece. I was like, oh, yeah, I was in one piece that night. It was just fucking, I got so much shit too. Cause everybody was like, man, we don't pay you to be fucking, uh, pretty fucking get your ass on Patreon. I'm like, dude, half my fucking face is swollen. All right. My eye is swollen shut. I don't feel like looking into a camera. Oh, oh yeah. I like, as soon as I found out what happened, like, here's the thing, Tony texted me and I was like, and for some reason I heard the phone go off. I heard it go off and I was like, oh, oh. oh. And responded, responded. By it has no man. memory of this. And then I was just like, hmm, bruh. And then the next morning, like, I go about my morning, then I'm like, was that a dream? And so I go to my text messages that I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> apparently, apparently after he texted me, I called him. He did. He called me that night and I was like, no, you can fuck off. <laughs> and I did I don't remember. I still don't remember calling him. Yeah. Like it's still, it's still kind of fucking hurts and it's still kind of swollen, but oh, I mean, I bet. You know, yeah. what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. I got hit in the face of a fucking pint glass. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's going to stay sore for a bit. Tony. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> well, Tony, I think, uh, I think we got to wrap it, man. Well, I think we got to wrap it, dude. It's been a good episode. It's been a great fucking episode. Oh, oh fuck, man. Fuck. I forgot to press the record button. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, the look of fucking horror on your face. <gasps> I was like, no. Fuck, we got to do this again. Uh, but guys, Diamond, Oklahoma in Diamond, Oklahoma, which is. There's no D in that word. Which is, uh, which is in the stick part. It's in the. It's yeah. in the. It's, it's in, in the, Oklahoma. Specifically Diamond. In Diamond, Oklahoma. Anyways, that is rapidly approaching. Make sure you get your tickets. So They're you in the link below. Link below so you can come see us live. We have a Facebook page now. Make sure you follow on the Facebook STFU podcast. It's going to be right here in the link. Yep. Everything's in the fucking link. Everything's in the fucking link. But uh, until next week, guys, Tony, yeah. take us out, motherfucker.
All right. We love each and every one of you motherfuckers. Every single one of you, except for the fuckers watching this on YouTube, you cheap bastards. Subscribe to the Patreon, you useless fucks. But we will see you right back here next week for another episode. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I always get it out first. No, no, you don't, because I wasn't with a hooker today. Ha <laughs> ha. Later. Love you guys. <laughs>